Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. I'm on my way to a friend of mine, Andrew. He's got a Mark IV Jetta that he's stripping. And I need a couple of bits for the wagon, like the water squirter motor or something along those lines. I can't clean my windscreen, so it just doesn't squirt any water. So hopefully I can get that from him. And I also want to get the alternator and ground wires for the Mark II because they're quite old and brittle and I feel like that's probably why I have some starting issues I was hoping it would have a starter because that's what I really need but I'm just gonna go down check out what he has see what I can use and yeah hopefully I can get that going so it now works Oh, that is a beauty. So I just swapped the motor for the window washer and it's it's working. Look, I'm so glad. I don't know why I didn't just go buy another motor, but what is great about the jet is that it has no rear wiper. So it doesn't need a squirter for that, so it just has the one output which is perfect. So it's in, it's working. I'm just gonna go fetch the Mark II quickly so that we can take whatever is needed and what's left of that car um, because Andrew goes through cars very quickly he'll be selling off most of it very soon so I just need to take what I need now or it's gone so I'm just gonna do that quickly I'll be back and I'm on my way back to Andrew now the sun is starting to set, it's going to start getting quite cold, um, hopefully we can be quite quick at just swapping out two or three cables, uh, yeah, I really hope this helps the starting issue, next step would be the starter, but yeah, this cable should make a difference. One week later. So I'm on my way to go get my wheel alignment done doing the BMW mountain run tomorrow so I just want to make sure that the alignment is in the car's driving correctly. It feels like a slight knocking at times in the front suspension and I know that this guy like really checks these things. So I'm going to Goodwood, there's a place there that I I like to use. Um, I feel like that guy's quite on it when it comes to alignment. So I'm doing that now. And then I'm going around to my friend Matthew to pick up some stickers for the Mark II that he had made. And I think that's it. Also, this fog is quite intense. Like, really intense. See that the steering rack nut is loose over there. I just did the wheel alignment and it's still slightly off. Um, I'm going to my friend Matthew now just to pick up my stickers. I'll show you his awesome Mark ones. I think I'll just cut to some cinematics of that. One week later. 
hey guys i'm just doing some maintenance today have a water leak another water leak and some odds and ends i want to work on the car today i also want to put some new high beam covers on there because i only have this one hella cover and it just looks really awkward yeah so i'm going to do that today and i'll keep you in the loop i just put in this radiator flush i'm going to idle the car for about 15 minutes and then drain it out I it for a bit longer just to flush the water out and then put in some coolant so this came out and I'm replacing it with just a straight connector because I just keep having issues with this I think this connection goes to the oil cooler so now that I don't have that hose connected it's useless this is looking a bit bigger than that so I really hope that this works guys I thought I would just come through to Kenilworth Center take some pictures somewhere not exactly sure I think this parking lot will do alright guys what a day um, I tried to keep filming as much as possible but you know when you just get busy and you can't get to do everything you want to do so today I washed the car I fixed the hose I'll show you guys that now I had to blank off something on the side of the head as well so I had to pull out a spare head that I had um, and get that blocked off it was yeah it was a mission but the car's running no water leaks so I guess it's it's a good day I'll show you some of the things that I did today um, first off let's talk about my new headlight um, stickers so I went with the shell style because I saw it on a on a race car and I actually saw it today as well when I was looking at um, the group in racing and they had these these stickers on the lights which is very cool so one of the big reasons is because this car breathes so much and I constantly need to top up oil so it would be great if Shell was a sponsor but I actually just need to fix the engine so yeah that was the big reason why I went with the Shell covers and I think it looks quite cool it's like a bit different to the Hela style that I had for so long that everyone else is doing so yeah that's that's that super happy about that let me just talk about what I fixed in the bay um, I replaced um, this fitting over here then there was the sensor the coolant temp sensor that was below that that was giving me a bit of a problem and I, I broke it off and there was steam coming out so I had to find a blank and luckily I had a spare head that had a blank on it I fit that and we are all good no leaks I threw in some really cheap coolant the green horrible green coolant but I mean I've been running water so surely that should be better so I'm running that for now because I need to fit a new coolant orb and then I'll run proper G12 I just wanted to make sure that there's no more leaks and I, I think I think for now we are good I just wanted to talk about uh, the sticker I got here so I take this car I don't it's not a show car relax it's not a show car but I take this car to meets and things and it is rough it is it's got dents it's got it's got a lot going on I mean this is horrible and and I know that people walk around and look at the car and then judge it you know so I thought I'd put this sticker here because it's quite fitting I saw this I saw the sticker on someone's car once upon a time and I was like I need to have one I'm gonna do more stickers on the car I am a bit of a ricer just a little bit but I think that's okay there was one more thing I tried to do today I don't know if you can see it but um, I took a heat gun and I took it to the arch and you can see there's a slight there is a difference and I think it makes enough of a difference for me to actually do more of it guys I'm not even joking my battery just died again so the GoPro is great and all but if you don't switch it off correctly it just drains the power while it's on standby so I just 
I keep like recording a clip or two and then I put it down and it just kills the battery so while I was talking yeah I just power exhausted uh, so I need to buy another battery I just came up here I wanted to shoot some stills of the car and maybe some beetle um, so I'll do that quickly Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.